Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. Please mm, consider offering a tax-deductible donation to support our students at Illinois State University by going to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's the problem for today, for exam P, probability. An insurance company insures a large number of drivers. Let X be the random variable representing the company's losses under collision insurance, and let Y represent the company's losses under liability insurance. X and Y have joint density function equal to 2X plus 2 minus Y over 4 for X between 0 and 1 and for Y between 0 and 2, and 0 otherwise. So the joint density is positive only for x between 0 and 1 and y between 0 and 2, and given by this formula. What is the probability that the total loss is at least 1? Here is the solution. Total loss being more than 1 is uh, the event of x plus y being more than 1, and we're looking for a probability of that. So we start by drawing the area where the joint density of x and y is positive, and that's the rectangle 0, 1 uh, by, um, times 0, 2. So a rectangle with um, values of x between 0 and 1 and values of y between 0 and 2. And then we find the probability that x plus y is more than 1 uh, as an integral of the joint density over the region where x plus y is more than 1, that's the same as saying that y is more than 1 minus x, but only the portion within the rectangle um, created by the conditions uh, that x is between 0 and 1 and y is between 0 and 2. And here is that picture. So what you see is the area here um, for x between 0 and 1 and y between 0 and 2. The area indicated with those dotted lines is the area where y is more than 1 minus x, so that x plus y is more than 1. And we get that area by drawing the line um, indicating where y is equal to 1 minus x. It's a line of slope negative 1 and y-intercept of 1. Is 1 is right here, which is half of that 2 over there. So this is not a perfect picture because you can see that I don't have the same scale on both axes. I'm sorry about that, but it shows the idea. And we need to simply find the integral of the joint density over that area marked with dot dotted lines. And here's the calculation of that. So we want the probability of x plus y being is more than 1. And we're going to be in that area where uh, y was more than 1 minus x. That's the same condition. y more than 1 minus x is the same as x plus y is more than 1. And that means we should take the double integral over that region of the density. And we do this by letting x run between 0 and 1. And for every value of x between 0 and 1, y runs from 1 minus x to 2. So we simply take the integral from 0 to 1 of the integral from, from 1 minus x to 2 of the joint density, which is 2x plus 2y minus y over 4. And we take the integral with respect to y first, y running from 1 minus x to 2, and then with respect to x. So we do the integral with respect to y first. Well, uh, 2x over 4, that's the same as half x, and the integral of that with respect to y is half x times y, so half xy. And then 2 over 4 is 1 half, the integral of that is 1 half y with respect to y. 
and minus y over 4 is um, the integral of that with respect to y is minus 1 eighth y squared. If we evaluate this from y equal to 1 minus x to y equal to 2. And once we evaluate it, we'll take the integral from 0 to 1 with respect to x of the result of this evaluation. So we do this evaluation. We find the value at 2 and uh, the value at 1 minus x, and we show them here. So what happens when the y is equal to 2? Well, we have 1 half times x times 2, um, so that's x, plus 1 half times 2, which is 1, minus 1 eighth times 2 squared, so that's negative 1 half. And then we subtract what we get when we plug in y equal to 1 minus x, which would be um, minus 1 half x times 1 minus x, minus 1 half um, times 1 minus x, and minus minus, so plus 1 eighth 1 minus x squared. And now we need to evaluate this, multiply it all out and evaluate this. And this becomes the integral from 0 to 1 of 5 eighths x squared plus 3 quarters x plus 1 eighth dx. So the integral of 5 eight eighths uh, x squared is 5 over 24 x cubed. The integral of 3 quarters x is 3 eighths x squared. And the integral of 1 8 is 1 8 x, and we evaluate this from 0 to 1. At 0, of course, the value is 0, and at uh, 1, we get 5 over 24 plus 3 eighths plus 1 8. The common denominator is 24, and the answer is 17 over 24, which is answer D. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to society of actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.